to Austin, Texas. This is our room. Let's see. What's the balcony? Right through that door. We have a balcony with no patio furniture. What the? I guess we can take these chairs out if we just want to sit out and have coffee. The sun is beating. In the morning, it'll be different. I just want to go out there and have my coffee and things like that. I need the sun to go all the way down. This is our room. So these two doors, I think this is an adjoining room. So there are two doors that will not open from this side. We're at Slab and Slab Barbecue and Beer. That's how it looks on the inside. Guys, we're leaving Austin. I took a picture of the place that we went to, uh, Sekia, but it was all right. It was just typical smoke in the oven barbecue, so it was nothing to really rave about. But last night, that restaurant, oh, I need to go back. I need to come back to Austin just to go back and get that gnocchi, get that bread, get all of the dishes I got, because they were so good. But yeah, we're on our way back to Fort Worth. We should be there around four or five. So yeah, it's about to be a chill vlog session now. Catch you when I get back. Hey guys. Hi. Round two. Uh, we're back from Austin. We went to Slab Barbecue and Beer. Or was it Slab Barbecue and Beef? Where's the cup? Slab Barbecue and Beer. They're in Austin, Texas. I don't even want to eat them up there like <laughs> <laughs> they um they had good reviews um this was season 30 episode 3 of diners drive-ins and dives and we are doing our diners driving and dives review yes. we're reviewing some of the restaurants that guy fieri visited and said they were absolutely delicious and, yeah. and that we should try them so we do this uh every month for our mother daughter uh time get together so we try slab barbecue and beef or beer whichever one is on the cup and we were very disappointed, unfortunately. Um, on the video, you see them smoking the meat. I thought it was an actual smoker with wood smoke, but my daughter can explain to you what it actually was. Yeah, it was actually just one of the run-of-the-mill smokes that they use in every restaurant. So that they want to smoke meat. But it wasn't like wood. It wasn't smoking meat like when you out on the right, grill. Right. It was nobody was outside cooking nothing on the grill. I didn't smell anything going up to the property. Right, we didn't smell any barbecue going when we drove up, which was weird, but I still wanted to give it a try. Right. So I got the um, the El Jefe and the McDowell sandwich. And I got the McDowell sandwich and uh, the OG Texas sandwich. Okay. So the McDowell is the one that was on the show where he pulled the bones out of the ribs and he put their sauce on there. And unfortunately, the meat was tender, yes, but it was just flavorless. It didn't taste like it was seasoned. Whatever rub they used, I didn't, I didn't taste any seasoning. And because it tastes like baked ribs and not grilled, it tastes like they put it out of the oven and it was even less flavorless. I mean, it was just all the all it was is just juiciness and tenderness. That's it. There was right. no flavor. Like there was no seasoning <laughs> on, on, on top. It was just juiciness and. and uh, and tenderness that's all like that's what i want in meat when i'm getting something that's barbecue but at the same time i want that smoke flavor too. yes we need the smoke flavor i we feel need to like make. they put all that liquid smoke in the barbecue sauce that they felt like it was just gonna uh mac, max mask. out mask the uh flavor of the just what whatever that was because right. i don't know what it was <laughs> so i got the mcdowell and that i'm sorry the el jefe which was the brisket sandwich with the queso and the jalapenos and that was a letdown as well. It wasn't flavorful. This is what's left of that. Just bread, I mean. I mean, I think, didn't one of them have like jalapeno bread or something? Yes. I got the McDowell with the jalapeno bread. Right, it didn't right, make right. a difference. Right. And the bread and everything was, you know, saturated with sauce and... It was just a whole mess is what it was. So we, we're we gonna give it a, a thumbs down. I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna give it a one. Two out of five. One out of five for me. So, guy, we're gonna have to disagree. 
Um, and we're back in the lead again because you caught up with us in the last one. But this one, we are back in the lead. So I don't understand. You have hits and misses, guy. Like, just be honest with the people. Don't lie. And if you honest back then, it was tasting good back then, you need to go and review these people again. But I think they were season 30, episode 3. So this was like recent. <laughs> you know what? That's, a, that's the end <laughs> for our episode of Mr. Driving Ties. Tune in for the next one, guys. Bye. <laughs>